Hello, everybody. Thursday is back once again. I believe this is episode 90 of Jank Pack Thursday. We have 38 packs remaining on the wheel. More will be coming. So we're going to shuffle. We're going to see what comes up for this week because we all know it's a lot of fun. So now, the spin. And let's see. Oh, the wheel. The colors, man. The colors. And coming up. Now this, it, which one is it? Oh, very close to being uh, an autograph fisherman pack. But this one I have been looking forward to since I got it, and I've had it for a while. The Your Favorite Mystery Pack. From Cole's Comic Claims, I have no idea what's going to be in this. I think I may have seen Milo open one once, but we're going to find out. Because coming up, it's your favorite mystery pack. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The setup is changing as we speak. Everything is trying to get organized. But for now, we dig into the box o jank for one of the oldest packs we have. Uh, the your, I, I think it was just your favorite mystery pack. It was one of the original packs that came in the box from Cole, and I th this might be it. Yeah, because I remember it was. All right, now that I've moved this, where am I going? Well, I'm going to put this here for now. Reveal. Oh, and by the way, I should say, our buddy uh, Jaden Janky here. I got to get the other card of uh, his brother Jackson, but um, uh, they are. Division One FCS champions, the South Dakota State Jackrabbits, this past year. So, the Jankies are winning the championships. But for now, we turn our attention to whatever this is. Your favorite photo cards or stickers. I don't know if this is an actual set or if this is just a conglomeration. But it's distributed by the Donruss Company in Memphis, Tennessee. And this is all the information I basically have about it. Like I said, I think I may have seen Milo open one, but we're going to find out because I have no idea. The wax isn't very sealed, but it is junky, but we got... Okay, so this is a... All right, let's... Let's just get in and see what in the world we have. We've got a Henboy sticker. From Zero Heroes, Henboy, when chick and feed, I love it already. An Arizona poultry collector, not farmer, collector, cried out the secret word, cluck. He was transformed in, wait, Henboy? Oh, it was Henboy, I thought it was Hen Man. The amazing hen of steel, circling around his foes, frantically pecking and scratching, Henboy clucked his way through several extremely dull adventures. His creators finally had to admit that Henboy had laid an egg. <sighs> Copyright 1983, Henboy. Uh, this is going to be amazing. Fantastic Flea. Thank you, Zero Heroes. A flea that was smarter than a computer, stronger than Hercules, faster than a rocket ship, the Fantastic Flea had all of those qualities, and he was lovable, witty, and charming. An uh, inveterate moocher, Fantastic Flea could also really put the bite on his foes. However, when he when he met his match, when a flea a fleeing villain, Champion Chigger, talked him into taking a powder with him. What what has beheld us today, Cole? What hast thou done? Captain Claude, you know what? <coughs> I'm here for it. A little bit of a miscut. Captain Claude, the dumbest hero of all time. In his entire career of crime fighting, he never won once, but he knew the dirt on everyone. Poor Claude always did the wrong thing in the worst possible manner. Criminals as well as female objects of Claude's attention would go out of their way to avoid him. One day, while attempting to talk a crook out of a bank, Claude got so carried away that he surrendered to himself. 
Unsure of what to do next, he retired to the desert where he started another legend about Claude the Camel. Yeah. Yeah. Brand X, man. I love you. The first no-frills superhero ever. Brand X Man wore a plain white costume and cape with a single black X printed on the front. He kept his cost down by only flying at night and using his long-distance telepathic powers only on weekends when the rates were cheaper. Hey, kids, that's a joke from back in the day. From when, before the cell phones, when the rates were actually cheaper to call people long-distance at night. Ask your parents. Uh, ba 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 he was too busy clipping five cents off coupons from the newspaper to battle any foes. He soon disappeared from sight, mainly because his fans were too cheap to buy his comic books. Ouch. Jet Boy! To fly in the sky like a bird was the dream of Perry Shoot, but unlike most dreamers, Perry did something about his. Perry strap, uh, bah, bah, bah. He strapped two 4,000-pound thruster jets onto his back and renamed himself Jet Boy. Man, uh, carry eight or uh, you know four tons like that. Uh, took uh, he started up his jets and flew, and a few seconds later took off five thousand miles an hour straight down. Oh Jesus! The poor guy had forgotten to install his steering wheel after launching into the unsu- wait after launching this unsuccessful attempt to rocket to fame. Jet Boy has returned to his previous existence as a dreamer. Don't let it kill you, Jet Boy. If it didn't kill you, you'll be okay. Well, uh, maybe not. Captain Forgetful. Oh my god, he forgot his pants. Unable to remember his true identity, a young unnamed man took on the identity of Captain Forgetful. Forgetting to dress as a superhero, he took to the streets to battle something or other which he couldn't remember. If only he could remember the secret word that gave him untold powers, but he couldn't. Whatever happened to this fascinating character, we forget. Boom ching Uh, penultimate card, take a drink. Amazing, fantastic, colossal, colossal power zapper Wonder Man. Yes. The super, this superhero ran into problems from the start. His costume was a disaster because his creators insisted on squeezing his entire name onto the chest. You need a big shirt and you're a small man. He was useless at rescuing people. By the time a person in distress yelled, Please help me, amazing, fantastic, colossal power zapper Wonder Man, the criminal was miles away. People tried calling him by his initials, but unfortunately no one could pronounce A-F-C-P-Z-W-M. Afskubzwim. Yeah, it doesn't work. And finally, the logo of whatever this was we were doing, the Secret Society of Zero Heroes. There we just have zero heroes. What in the world did we just see? <coughs> Pardon me. I, this was one of those, I honestly did not know what to expect. And yet, here we are, with zero heroes. I think Henboy might be my favorite. Don't know why. It's a chicken. These are great. Cole, thank you. Like, seriously, those are friggin' awesome. <coughs> but now... We move on to new business. First, we begin with our shout-out. And I will begin with uh, a question. We all know Maiden's World of Wax, yes? His live streams, the Metal Mondays, the fun he has, the Sunday live streams. But, did you know, he has started a new channel. Some of you know, because he has a decent amount of subs. But we have his new channel, Singularity Digital Art. The home of his really, really, really awesome um, AI... AI videos, AI creation for characters. I've always been of the mindset AI is not going to work. It cannot work because it is limited by humans. Um, you know, you see all these, you know, Skynet's never going to happen, kids. For those of you who don't know, that's a Terminator reference. Um, but, it, but it's interesting and fascinating when AI can be used this way. Like, I know... Uh, uh, the first time I really saw anybody really getting into it was Spine Ticks. And he was cranking out all these awesome AI-generated figures, like crossovers. And that's what uh, Maiden is doing at Singularity Digital Art. 
like comic crossovers with War K40,000. It's the crossovers you didn't think you need, but you actually do need. So sub him up and enjoy some sci-fi arties at 117 subs. Let's get him rolling on the road to 200. Now, playoffs. Obviously, I have my thoughts about what happened in Buffalo, and I'm going to finish it with this. Go Kansas City. Um, that's about all you can say. All the, no, the Steelers didn't deserve to be in the playoffs, but changes are a coming. If not, if changes are not a coming, problems will be had. And I'd like to say that I did call Dallas crap in the bed against Green Bay. I just didn't expect it to be that bad. And now, unfortunately, we are out of plug cards. I ran the gamut of that. I do have another box of things that is coming. It is not here yet. And then once I get it, obviously, I'm going to have to open up a few so we don't start with the entirety of the checklist. But until then, I do have a couple of packs of cards that have been lying around here on the table. Uh, this one came from Milo at Trading Cards. We've mentioned him before. And I'm just going to get into it because why not? Let's open a pack of cards and shoot the breeze a little more. A 2023 Bowman. I guess we're going to be looking for some... Uh, for some Drew Jones in 2023, and we're just going to have some fun, plus, oh, but now, I guess the question is, who's your picks? We've got Green Bay versus San Francisco, and historically, Green Bay, or Aaron Rodgers, I should say, has always had trouble with San Francisco. Aaron Rodgers is gone now. Jordan Love has turned it into something else, and I think he might be the real deal, so... I'm not going to say that the 49ers are easily going to win that game. I'm saying it's going to be a game. And then on the other side, it's Tampa Bay versus uh, Detroit. That should be an enter entertaining football game. And then you got, hopefully, the last meeting of Buffalo and Kansas City. NFL, we're tired of it. We're tired of Buffalo versus Kansas City. Let's just put it at that. And then who is the other game? It's Houston versus... Um... I honestly cannot recall who the other one is. Give me a second. Let me think of it. Well, there's a there's a brain fart. Houston versus Baltimore. I don't know. C.J. Stroud looking really good. Going to be an entertaining uh, divisional playoff weekend coming up this weekend. But we go in and we look for Drew Jones and we ramble a little more. Garrett Mitchell, rookie. Nolan Gorman, rookie. Vladdy Jr., shout out to Canada. Michael Harris, Rookie, that's going to be a good one, I think. Uh, he's been playing well. Shout out Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles, Adam's Card Closet, and Brother Josh Red Rum. Raphael Devers, he's not a rookie. Why are you doing that? Raphael Devers, Bo Naylor, rookie for the Spiders. Drew Waters, rookie. Jefferson Rojas, Samuel Zavala, Anthony Pagaro, first Bowman. We got a chrome, Mickey Romero, and a first chrome of what? Uh... Josie DePaula? Uh actually where where is he from? Uh born in Brooklyn. All right, that tells me absolutely nothing. Uh I guess Josie Josu? If I'm mispronouncing that, please let me know. We did not get Drew Jones, but we did get a Michael Harris rookie, and I think that's gonna be a good one. Plus a Vladdy Jr., always good. And more importantly, man, did we have fun with these. And it says, your favorite photo cards or stickers. You know what? That actually is a uh, pretty accurate um, pretty accurate description of what we just saw. This was a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed it because I absolutely did. Again, shout-outs galore. Thank you, Cole, for the pack. Singularity Digital Art, Maiden's World of Wax's new channel for all your AI art needs. Check them out. Sub them up. 117. And episode 90 comes to a close, and hopefully uh, next week or so we will have us a new hunt, and it's going to be a good one. So thank you much. Let's go football this weekend. We'll see you next time.